Hello, asexuals and trapezoids. Welcome to a new video about how to create your own weapon. You should already know that because that's what the video title is about. So, let's get right into this. This is going to be quite an educational video. You should learn a lot about self-defense after this. And let's get right on to it. All right. Sup, why in the world would I ever care about, you know, defending myself? Because th this is, it's pretty safe here. Well, I'm doing a free space because I'm being oppressed. For being an absolute freaking retard, I don't need a free space. I think you're playing a safe space for me. Just saying. Well, it's not. You never know when something is going to happen. When someone attacks you. When you defend yourself, or when you want to injure other people, I don't know, whatever your thing is. You don't want a weapon of some kind. I mean, not everyone has a gun. I mean, I have a gun right here. It's a pretty good gun, if you could say. And, I think it's jammed. Whatever. Anyhow, we're going to be showing you how to make house weapons, projectile weapons, from household material. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I committed mass genocide using household weapons. And if you were wondering why in the world would I ever want to make that mass genocide instead of, like, you know, having a knife, well, you know, you can just throw the knife. Well, you could, but it won't be as cool because no one knows how to throw knives anymore. Mm. Because no one does. Also, even if you did throw like stuff or try to poke him, it's not as cool either. You know what's really cool? When someone breaks into your house and you like get your impromptu weapon and shoot him in the face with a pencil. And... We can jump. <laughs> so let's get on into it. I'll be showing you what you need, and if this is a bit awkward, please understand, I'm using a Chromebook to um, record myself. It's pretty quality, honestly, you know. Bellissimo! Extreme quality! Only the pros use Chromebooks. Webcam recorder to, uh, you know, record themselves. Who doesn't? So, let's get right on to it. Bellissimo! Extreme quality! So the first thing you're gonna need is... <laughs> a rubber band. So, this is actually quite a big rubber band, and it's about three times larger than the average rubber band. So, you might not have these, but if you have short ones, this will work too. So now, I, since most people will have rubber bands, I also am going to start out with the most basic stuff. I also will assume you have toilet paper. If you don't, why are you even here? You probably can't even afford a computer. So, I've been going through this guy's videos for days. It took a while, but I finally figured it out. I, I knew it all along. He's a Nazi. I'll back with them some toilet paper. Okay. While I go to the next one, here's a friendly reminder. Subscribe or you get mined. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> so now... As you can see, it's perfectly circular. It's a nice piece of toilet paper. It's white, it's pure, and it's pretty standard. So I'm assuming you'll have one of these things. You can also bring the longer ones if you have bigger bands, but for the sake of it, I'm gonna be using a short, I'm using this big one on this small, this small roll of toilet paper. So you, you could technically use those uh, bounty sheets that you use for wiping stuff up, but this is how I want you to do it. 
you as you see this side you want it to be kind of down so it doesn't cover it and the other side to be in the middle so now the last thing you're going to need is a projectile usually i assume that you will have a pencil i mean who doesn't it'd be kind of sad if you didn't have a pencil and pencils are exactly the projectile you're going to want so as you can see you would want to insert it like this and then kind of like wrap your finger around the rubber band so it gets caught and there you go you now have a nice little weapon now depending on this pull depending on the kind of rubber band i can actually pull out of there so you shouldn't try to pull out pull out You shouldn't try to make the, the the pencil get out of the hole. So, watch this. And there, it shot it. If I had a smaller rubber band, it would shoot a lot faster. But that's your basic design. Now, if you do some, I'll be show you other designs. This is actually kind of weak because you know it's kind of holy in there. You know, might not be as accurate. So let's go on with the next design. Pull out. Ooh. Next design. Ooh. Next design is going to require a ruler or a yardstick or a meter stick. I'm using a meter stick because I have an actual long rubber band. So we're going to insert this like this. As you can see, I'm actually putting this thing like that, putting it in, turning it so it would line up, and then kind of threading it into the middle. Like, just like this. And pull. Now, it's kind of like a noose, or, or not, it's not really like a noose. And I want you to basically push in this part right here, into that hole. As you can see, it's going deeper into that hole, so it won't interfere with any of the projectiles we are firing. So there we go. You should end up with something like this with the little end. Now, I'm sure you guys can guess. Uh, we're going to be firing another pencil out of this because pencils are your basic munition. Stop. I mean, if you sharpen a pencil and stab someone, that's already dangerous. Now, if you fire a pencil out of a projectile, that's also very dangerous. So, pencils are really great for ammunition. So, as you can see, you want to wrap it around and pull it back as far as you possibly could. So, you can use a regular ruler if you have a smaller rubber band. But for this, I can actually pull it back quite a distance. So as you can see, I pull it to the half, uh, half meter spot. So as you can see, it's pretty, pretty back there. And this actually will have a lot more, do a lot more damage than the toilet paper roll due to it, due to the fact that I can actually, there's a lot more uh, pull range or whatever. I don't care. Elasticity to be involved. So as you can see, let's fire it. And if you can't see... I'm using a Chromebook, so excuse me. It actually stuck in there. It, if that was a person, they would not be happy. I, I, so, yeah. Let's get back. All right, Chromebooks are the best. Let me get the head back up. All right, so as you saw, another way. Now, the best part about this is that with the toilet paper, you couldn't, you could only shoot things and it wasn't very fast. Now, after you shot someone with a pencil, you could just beat their head in or something with a ruler. So you can probably add some kind of like sharp edge right there. So you could just whack him or something. So now you have yourself basically a, a, a bow staff or something. Do you get it? Get it? Because I'm gonna stop. All right, so. The third thing, if you want to, if you're, if you're thinking stabs aren't your greatest thing and you kind of said this isn't a bow at all, 
because it's more like a slingshot. Well, Autism. so as you can see, this is a pretty basic hammer. You can knock people's head in. Everyone, we have an announcement to make. Stop! Settle horizon. It's uh, great for damaging. I mean, just swinging it. Someone in the head, and they're, and they're dead. Stop! On the sharp side, if you feel like doing nastier stuff. Stop! So, as you can see, we're going to put this like this, and basically pull it down. So now you're like, sub, so you have a hammer, so you can hammer people's head in. Number 15. Subtle horizon. What can I do with, like this? What, what good is putting a rubber band like this? Well, to answer your question, friend, let me get back to that. Boom, I got the arrow back. Um, so, as you can see, we can actually use this as a real bow. <laughs> If you insert, so if you open this part up right there, put it in, and basically allow it to hold, you can actually ca catch it up on the back of it and pull it back. So now, we now have a bow and arrow that actually kind of holds the bow and arrow. The staff, because, you know, I feel like the staff has a lot more pull. Draw, draw, yeah, draw. It will do more damage, but this will definitely do a lot more damage to any person you're attacking. So maybe you, maybe if you don't like doing this, you could tie this to the back of your your ruler stick, and now you have a really deadly weapon that you can swing around and shoot people with. So there we go. Now, it, this wouldn't be this wouldn't be complete if I didn't include the, the enemy. So. I got a couple random tests, so let's get right into it. Gamers, we run the planet, and we won't stop. No, we won't stop until the women are all gone, 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 gone. Epic gamer style. Epic gamer style. Epic gamer style. Now our first target is of course the predators. You don't want these guys to ever get close to you. Um, if you ever get one of them close to you, you definitely want to make one of these. It doesn't matter how long it takes, you're gonna want to shoot them as fast as possible because they'll predate on you real fast. Because, you know, they predate on, uh, you know, people and that's not very good. So, as a show, we're going to fire off. Goodbye, uh, Bill Nye. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. And there goes Bill Nye. I, I missed. He, I, I, I didn't miss. Alright, next person. Our next target is, well, something that has been plaguing YouTube for quite a while and I'm getting tired of it. No one cares about your victory royale. No one cares. Wow, you want to play some more a more realistic version of Minecraft Hunger Games? Well, you think I care? N no. So these are next pre uh, things. This is also called the peep. This is another predator. If you couldn't tell, it's it's worse than Bill Cosby, honestly, because how many parents have lost their mm. children begging for V bucks? How many millions of dollars have Fort has Fortnite gotten? That, you know, an orphan could have gotten. Why are we still here? A homeless guy could have gotten. Just you know what? Let's get rid of Fortnite right now. <laughs> there. Headshot. You can't tell. Right there. There's a hole. And looks like we clipped part of his skull. Just for secure measures, we're gonna shoot him again. Here. We gotta kill. We gotta take down Fortnite. Fortnite's going down. Fortnite needs to get off my YouTube. Get off YouTube. Make Minecraft great again. No, Minecraft's not going to get great again ever. <laughs> it's dying. But luckily, the one thing I can say, the thing, the one thing I can say that's good about Fortnite is that it dragged all the cringy kids out of uh, Minecraft into Fortnite. So, headshot. 
right in the face. All right, let's move on to our next victim. All right, so here comes the real thing. Have you ever just walked into your house and got attacked by prehistoric hunter-gatherers? Well, I have. And without this, I could have never defended myself. This is a regular occurrence, you guys. Worse than Fortnite, worse than the, the Bill Cosby's. This is a real threat. You never know when these guys will ever just come in hooting and stab you with their But luckily, you have projectiles, and they don't. They all, all they have is throwing spears, and they suck. So let's uh, shoot these guys. These guys are a real menace. They visit my house quite a bit, and let's get rid of them. Uh, we missed, but you get the you get the general point. We we just scare them with a the giant uh, shot, and yeah, that looks like it's, that does it. We have sh I've shown you particularly how to do this. And if you wanted to example how to melee them or melee them, I don't care what you call it. There you go. You just beat them to the ground. Anyhow, thanks for watching this was a complete waste of time. Well, I'm going to spend 20 hours editing this, and I hope you guys like this. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, um, this took, I'm sorry for the really long uh, pause between the two videos of the olive oil and this, but um, it was worth the creation. I'm pretty happy about this. Um, yeah. Hope you guys like it, and uh, hopefully, I'm actually thinking of making commentary videos, so maybe minecraft commentary so yeah thanks guys for watching and uh i'll see you guys next time adios amigos all right buddies which one of you stole my diamond i know it's one of you i don't like the way you're looking at me <laughs>